Everybody excited? Jen bought her first toy. I did. <laughs> not the way Scott's trying to portray it. It is Pink Bell, but <laughs> not like that. I have never. Never have I ever. Never have I ever bought a retro toy. And we don't talk about toys often on this channel because it's mostly game focused. Yeah. Scott got this for my birthday. I think I got like 50 things for my birthday. It keeps, like, I think if we went back and looked at videos. And yet, I can't get a painting. No, I didn't freeze. We're just gonna go on a little painting tour. Yet, this is the painting in question. Terribly sorry, dear, that I don't paint for you. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I'll make it eventually. You hung up your Nintendo thing over there. You took the spot. I can't even make the painting now. But this is not why we're here. This is not why we're here. <laughs> don't touch my beer. I'll touch yours. <laughs> no, I don't have one. I changed it. <laughs> I got something I had when I was six. You're so old. It's like I'm watching you die in front of my eyes. I am 42. I am 40. What? I am 42. Woo! I was born in 1980. I had to consult my mom and ask her if that's what it was. I sent her the picture and I expected her to say, how the fuck am I supposed to know? That was like a million years ago. Potty mouth. Your mom's got potty mouth. I know. Do you? That's where I give it. So, anyways, she did say, "Yeah, that's the exact one." And I've been wanting this for a while now, especially since we went to Universal. But wouldn't admit it. Yes, because he's got so many toys. I didn't. I didn't want to like go down that rabbit hole too yeah, and like, it look be at an this entire situation. Man, child, toy hoarder. Yeah, I didn't like, want to be part of. But you so know what? Immature. You know what? I did break that seal with the Alice ones, but those aren't really from my childhood. Those are collectibles. They're collectibles because they're still in the package. <laughs> because a couple of nerds would say homelessness amongst, uh, you know, yeah. toys like that. It's a real big problem now. Is it? Yeah, you okay. lose accessories and shit like that. You don't want that. This one is not in a package because that would have cost a lot of money. So I'm going to give you a chance to guess what you think it might be. Some toy that would have been relevant in 86 ask your mom it's a better question guys does she look younger or older shut up so anyways don't answer that question <laughs> i'll roll this quick clip now that you guessed of something i knew i had to get it's gotta be like a uh, fucking something knitting crochet i'm not a uh, grandma like bright why would it be crochet? Barbie. I don't know. I'm just naming off girl stuff. <laughs> yes, I often crocheted when I was six. I bet you did. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I'm going to roll this quick clip. Then when we come back, the toy will be on the table. Okay? So, you'll just see. All right, guys. Unfortunately, when I looked at this video, I realized the audio was terrible in it and the video quality isn't that much better either. But what you have to understand is this is from a cell phone in 2019. So we've come a long way, I guess. Um, but in all honesty, uh, I, <laughs> this lady was a really good sport. Maybe she went home later and told her boyfriend or whoever. I had a crazy lady in her late 30s talked to me about a toy from her childhood like I was supposed to know who that was but she played the part she was really sweet to me I used my daycare kid who came with us to Disney who's a good friend of my son's as a shield a human shield to go meet the princess of power and I regret nothing I would do it again um, but maybe she was the maybe that was the catalyst that made me want to finally collect this toy so if you guys don't know by now what toy that is, I just, I guess I have to show you. So let's take a look. It's my favorite toy from when I was little. For like a little bit until- My I, Little Pony. No! Swiftwind and Shira, Princess of Power. I got that for Christmas in 1986. Took it to school the first day after Christmas break. 
and lost her sword. I'm, I'm very OCD with stuff like that. Like, I hate things when they're not in their place. It really bothers and me. yet she hides cleans everything. up everything in the house so you can't find it. Yeah, it does bother me though. I'll like go on a rampage around the house trying to find something. Cleaning. Yes. <laughs> trying to find something I've misplaced while cleaning. Now I have it complete again. As you can see, she does have her sword. I just like, this brings back so many memories, especially, I don't know why I remember these the most. Like those little, like, to me they're like gel, jelly type wings on Swiftwind and uh, yeah, everything's there. I put in an offer on eBay that I thought would be maybe get kicked back and not taken. And they were like, yeah, sure. That's my toy from when I was six, but the toy love does not stop there because I wasn't the only one that picked up toys. Somebody else I had- I just got a couple small ones there, like, I mean, um, price-wise, you know, well, somebody blew the budget. You can vote whose toys are cooler. Got some Transformers and GoBots. Mm-hmm. I've had, I had all of these when I was a kid. That's mm -hmm. why when I was at Spin It, I seen them. They were relatively, you know, I won't call them cheap, but they weren't breaking the bank. Yeah. So I snatched them up. I mean, I'm like, I don't know where I'm freaking putting them all because my room's full, but it's an addiction, so. It is an addiction. <laughs> But you haven't bought toys in a long time. Long time, yeah, because really? I've been hoarding video games. and Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I have to clean these up. You do. For Scott, it, like, usually gets into something new and he, like, drops off the old hobby. I don't know when gaming drops off. I don't know when what the hell else we're going to collect. <laughs> vinyl. But, no, we have a few vinyl, but not bad. Originally, we went to spin it because our friend Marcus was looking at some wrestlers and he knew they weren't out yet. Yeah. And screw you, Marcus, we were trying to buy you one, but I feel like you knew that because we're still trying to repay Marcus for all the kindness. We're yep. gonna figure it out. But anyways, Scott ended up buying these. I'm pretty excited about them. I don't yeah. care about yours, but I'm pretty excited about mine. So, I have a nice He-Man shell. Yes, I have a that's what I was gonna have. He-Man, Battle Cat, Skeletor, Panther, um, where does this go? Does this go up in the middle in between them all? Or does this go up to the side there and look at the girls? What girl toys? <laughs> the creepy doll? Like that's the yes. only other girly type thing there. <laughs> But yeah, uh, we bought some toys we're not really going to play with, which is, you know, what adults There, do. you just played with it. I did. And that's probably the extent of how girls play with their toys. Yeah. <laughs> we moved on really quickly. We got typewriters and Keanu Reeves posters. Some of us did. I'm not saying all of us did, but some of us did. I've heard relationships based on intense experiences never work. Okay. To base it on sex then. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> Anyways, those are our toys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I promise to put out a gaming video next. If you like this video though, let us know and maybe we'll have to, once the retro room is complete again, do a retro room, toy room collection update that was video. A big That's going to be a big video. Title. Something. All right, guys, until next time, play with your toys. <laughs> Is that not good? Okay, bye.